Chris's sister and Dawson's aunt, Abby, uh, is joining us by Polycom right now. Abby, thank you for joining us. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm well. He stole your car. Correct. Yes, sir. He stole my minivan. And what condition was it in when you got it back? When I got it back, there were burn holes in the car seats where, like, I have three children that require car seats. And Dawson or his friends could not figure out how to get the latch system. So instead of cutting it, they decided to burn it. And that's the melted seat belt material you see on the floor there of the van. Uh -huh. And they burnt holes in the back seat of the driver's seat and in the passenger seat. And you haven't apologized to anyone. For what what gives you the through. right to do that? What gives you the right? You said you were driving 110 miles an hour. What, what gives you the right to do? You're so proud of it, you take pictures uh, of the dashboard and post it on social media to show people how fast you're driving. Let me show you what a car looks like when you crash at 110 miles an hour. This Tesla was stolen and the driver was doing 100 miles an hour when it crashed into a Honda with five passengers and then a Mercury. The Tesla was severed in half and the front caught on fire. That's because somebody was being cool. And in your state, the statute and penalties for stealing that car, let me tell you, larceny greater than $2,000 is a felony, fine at the discretion of the court, up to 10 years in jail for stealing that car. And you gotta say, I'll do anything except let him suffer the consequences of his actions. I wanted to make sure that Dawson was fully aware of exactly what the impact would be when you get behind the wheel of a car and something goes wrong really fast. I want to introduce you to someone that's been on the show before. Her name is Tiffany. And uh, Tiffany has been here before because she's been in this very scenario. Tiffany, say hello. Hello. Tiffany, you're in a wheelchair right now. Why? Yes. Um, at 17 years old, I was um, hit head-on collision caused from a drunk driver at 130 miles per hour impact. Everyone was pronounced dead on scene, including myself. So listening to you speak and how you think you're invincible and that you're going to live forever. I've been to five different schools. I've been arrested. I've been in court order programs. All of that stuff, everything I'm hearing you say is nothing new. But if you knew that you could kill someone or you yourself would be dead tomorrow, would you still continue the behavior that you are today? <clears throat> You're getting the message, and that's right here and right now. You can choose to listen. Your parents love you. You're so fortunate for that. I hope you listen, Dawson.